In this video, I would use Poisson distribution to answer this probability question. Uh, a customer service firm receives an average of three calls per hour on its toll-free number. For any given hour, find the probability that it will receive at least three calls. So if you see that, so the average of three calls per hour, so this is lambda value in the Poisson distribution. So lambda is equal to three. And it said that for any given hour, so it's for we're talking about for one hour, so T is one. And we have to find that the probability that it will receive at least three calls. So that probability that X is greater or equal to three. So that we have to figure it out. And we know that the equation for Poisson distribution is this one. So P of X is uh, lambda T to the x divided by x factorial times e to the minus lambda t, where x could be 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. So now first we express that p of x is greater or equal to 3. So that is the same, p of x is greater or equal to 3. So this is the same as 1 minus p of x less than 3, so complement rule. And p of x is less than 3 means that p of x is less or equal to 2 in this case. So we can express like this way. And then, so what this means is that, this one here, so P of X is less or equal to 2, we write as like, say, X could be 0 in this case, X could be 1 in this case, or X could be 2 is up to 2. So again, so this thing I put in the parentheses, and I add this up and then subtract from 1. There is a spread from this one. So now let me use this equation and okay, put these uh, values in this. And what I would be getting is x is equal to one minus. So when x is zero in this in this equation, so when x is zero, so I would get lambda t lambda is three, t is one, so three to the zero, three to the zero divided by 0 factorial t to the minus 3 times 1 so that is 3 then plus similarly t to the 1 by 1 factorial t to the minus 3 and then plus 3 square divided by 2 factorial and e to the minus 3 Next, we have to just compute it. So this would be equal to 1 minus 3 to the 0 is 1, and 1 by 0 factorial is 1, 1 by 1 is 1, 1 times e to the negative 3 is e to the negative 3, then plus. So I got 3 to the 1 is 3, 1 factorial is 1, so 3 by 1 is 3 e to the negative 3, and then plus 9 by 2 factorial is 2 e to the negative 3 and that would be equal to 1 minus if I simplify it so this would become 0 0.4232 and 1 minus 0 0.4232 so that is equal to 0 0.57 and that is your final answer.